See, no fogginess in here. So what we have here, finally, is the Oz Air mask, a premium mask, as you can see, it comes with a really nice package, very minimalist, uh, but yet very effective, glossy presentation on the front. On the both sideways, there's design in Sydney, Australia, and the other side is shopozair.com address. Top and the bottom, there's nothing. But on the back side, there's reasonable amount of details here. So on the top, it says the filter, replaceable filter, will last up to four weeks. That's the back hand side. So from the back, there's memory nose foam, filtration layers, active carbon, soft and non woven inner layers, and hidden aluminum nose clip, two stainless steel air valve as well. So you'll see those circular uh, things on the front and washable outer layers and uh, click and switch design. So I think the click and switch design is where you press and you replace the filter. So I'm just gonna find out more about the details on it, but it seems to be quite complicated, this mask. It's not simply a mask, just one layer, but it has several layers on it. Uh, so the content is one number of mask skin, two numbers of uh, bl blank filters, two stainless steel valves, and one number of copper infused anti-micro Bile carrying bag as well, which is very nice. And I also ordered some uh, fragrance filters as well. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. When you open it up, immediately there are different filters with fragrance. So this is Sydney Eucalyptus, nice. And the Tasmanian Lavender filter. Lastly, it's the coastal tea tree filter. So it has this fragrance and we got some sort of a um, product certificate as well. So it has passed. Thank you very much. And within that, oh, we got that bag that was on the description, which is it's like a, I don't know whether you can see that, nice quality. So I guess you could put your mask inside here which is quite essential. I mean, today I also needed that pocket for the mask, um, but we didn't have one. And lastly, let's look at the good itself. Ah, before we get into that, I don't know whether you can see that Oz Air. That's quite cool. Very nice presentation. Really nice quality. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so you pull it out. And it says design in Sydney, Australia. Wow. So there's the instruction here and the, the mask. So it's like a spongy mask immediately. Um, I wasn't expecting that really. And um, these are the filters I presume. So if you look carefully, that's also rubbery sponge, but somehow slightly better quality than what I understand a sponge will be and um, I believe this is one of the filter so the filter itself is quite cleverly done it's it's slightly heavy so I presume this will actually go inside here but nonetheless let's look at the instruction from the top assembly instructions so that's how you do it. And I think you could squeeze your nose on it. Um, what else? So, on the bottom side as well, is how you can actually fit in the filter as well. So let's start with the actual filter itself. It's um, metal coated filter. And inside it, you get this almost like a rubbery uh, kind of thing. So I guess that's how the filter works. So the air comes in and then it will filter it out through this rubbery bit. Okay, so we've got two of those. So that will be joining into the front area of the mask. And these are uh, the, what we call the, the block out valve. So this will technically, uh, you replace it with this cover and then it will completely block off the actual valve. And that's not what we want. 
I'm sure there will be a circumstance we will need that but at the moment what we're going to do is use this standard and then what I'm going to use is the Ozair Tasmanian um, lavender filter so that's how the filter mask looks like and that's where you adjust the there's an aluminium sort of wiring thing there so that's where you actually adjust it to the size of your nose so what you do is you put it here and then simply just click on the filter until you hear the clicking sound so hear that that's one done and then the other one as well make sure it's actually the X mark or the crucifix marks is actually shown through the hole and then you okay and then next of it is that you make sure you put in that left and right it says in here by the way so it says I don't know where you can see that it says right on the left you actually fit that in as well so that's pretty much all done so the moment's truth here it goes okay so I got a large head and a broad jaw as well so I ordered a large and um, I think it fits quite well don't you think um, so left and right this way yeah and I could definitely smell the you know just very slightly of the mild lavender scent coming through and um, Oz Air actually done a really good job actually thinking about this point because if you try any of the masks you realize even though you just brush your teeth sometimes after about 10-15 minutes you might start to smell your own bad breath um, breathing wise you can actually slightly hear this slight click of the rubbery bit on the filter that's moving as you breathe in and breathe out that's quite clever comfort level wise um, unfortunately I have to say it's not as comfortable as this KF94 mask uh, KF mask that many people used to prevent coronavirus this is quite a famous um, one-off product obviously this is for long-term use but it's, it's all right, but still feel that bit more blockage comparing to the this mask. Now, um, when it comes to the middle of the summer, uh, when it's really hot, I don't think I, sh I would recommend it because you're basically covering a very thick layer around your face. And guy like me who actually, when my face gets really hot, I sweat a lot as well. So I wouldn't imagine myself wearing this in the middle of summer, probably like day like today, a weather of 21 degrees, cold breeze, um, or maybe in the beginning of the year of spring, uh, maybe, or, or in the middle of the winter, this will be perfect. Actually warming it up with your face in, this, in the winter will be perfect. Um, and also filtering out the dirty air in the middle of the city, that'll be fine. But probably not in the middle of summer i wish we were in that middle of the day to show you how how sweaty i am but it's pretty obvious but otherwise um it's professionally done it is an expensive mask so i respect that and i do believe that this will filter out more things because this has actually been scientifically researched and produced by the australian brothers so um, i have great respect for that and um, it's a nice cool mask i have to say anyway so i hope this answered most of the curiosities that you have regards to this mask but if you do have any other queries um, i'm more than happy to comment down below and maybe i'll make another review in a couple of months later on my thoughts on this matter but anyway Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Um, I'll speak to you later for more other interesting product. All the best. Bye-bye.